Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out for a drive in my larder today and we are in Bracknell. And what we're going to do, we're going to go and try and find the house where Harry Potter grew up. Where he lived with his auntie and uncle, the Dursleys. And I believe it's this road here. And I think if we come up here... Oh yeah, there it is, look. I think it's the, the one on the end is number four Privet Drive. Where Harry Potter lived, the one with a skip on the lawn. That's where Harry Potter grew up. Let's turn the car around and uh, we'll go and have a little look, shall we? So, this is the road where, I don't think a larder ever appeared because it was always Vauxhalls. It was all Vauxhall Carltons and then in the later episodes, oh no, it was Vauxhall Cavaliers and then they all had Vectras, didn't they? Let's go and have a quick look. Go. There we are, here's my larder and we are outside number four privet drive. I don't think my larder's magic but it's um, it's good fun but it doesn't really bear any relevance at all to Harry Potter. So this is the road where Professor McGonagall posed or she transformed herself into a cat and she spent the whole day walking up and down this road. I'm just really hoping we'll see a cat because that would be quite funny. And she you know surveyed it and decided was it appropriate to put Harry with these muggles and um, it was kind of decided you know it's better because he was so famous what he'd done survived Voldemort that yeah he'd be all right that they should let him grow up with the muggles away from the limelight so all the cars down here like I say they were all Vauxhall Cavaliers and then we see the scenes at the beginning you know where Harry's getting ready to go off to Hogwarts and every one of these houses had a Vauxhall Vectra estate which I always think was quite funny I think a fair few people may have missed that but I always noticed that because I do tend to you know look at cars so it was in that house there where Harry was you know he lived under the stairs where Dudley would jump on the stairs and make all the dust come through and then later on you know he moved upstairs to the fourth bedroom or the yeah the smallest bedroom maybe there's three or four bedrooms it you know the, the, the Dudleys the, the Dursleys hated him of course Dudley hated him as well so where Harry grew up and then he eventually moved off to Hogwarts what we're going to go and do now we're going to do something a little bit of a twist Let's go and see something a bit like the Hogwarts Express. So I said we're going to go and see the Hogwarts Express of a sort. Well, what, what I mean is, um, well, you know, to the Wizarding World, they call the people outside the Wizarding World muggles. Well, to the Railway Enthusiast World, we call people, you'll know I'm a Railway Enthusiast if you've seen my other videos because I film a lot of trains. We call people who aren't railway enthusiasts normals. It's a bit of a sort of joke, as if to say, yeah, we're not normals. Um, everyone else is. I've arrived here at Martin's Heron Railway Station. This is literally just up the road from where we are, from where we saw Privet Drive. Now, when we so we talk about normals, and it's interesting sometimes to see how normals react to anything train and railway related. And it seems to some normals, any steam train is automatically the Hogwarts Express. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go and wait, we're going to wait around, we're going to see a steam train. It's not actually the Hogwarts Express, it's going to be Clan Line. But Clan Line is a steam locomotive. She's hauling a tour for the railway touring company from Worcester to London, Victoria. She'll be coming from this way, so I'll probably go down on the platform to see her. Um, but as for the whole, there is a, you know, a nice connection between Harry Potter and the railways and trains in general. Because of course there is the Hogwarts Express. Now the Hogwarts Express is pulled by a Hall class locomotive. Great Western locomotive, and they were named after halls. So, 5972 Alton Hall is a locomotive which is known as Hogwarts Castle. Halls were named after different country houses in the term hall. So, other halls that are preserved are like Burton Agnes Hall, um, Hinderton Hall, which other ones have, have we got? Hagley Hall, Hagley Hall State Home Minister, they're all named after, after halls, Pitchford Hall, etc. etc. Um, so you, you can ride behind a Hall Class locomotive. If you go to Gloucestershire and watch Railway, they've got four mark. Well, you, you can ride behind a locomotive more similar to the Hogwarts Express, except you'll find those halls will most likely be green, occasionally black. Very, very unlikely to get a red hall. Prior to Alton Hall, another Bully Pacific, like we're going to see today, although she was of the um, the West Country class, Tor Valley. Tor Valley was painted in red. That was to promote the Harry Potter books. So what we're seeing today is a Merchant Navy class. So it's another Bully Pacific, but a bigger loco, but very similar. So you could say this is a, like an, a sister or a cousin to the original Hogwarts Express. Um, 
there's a train coming in now, just a normal train. Oh, class um, a class four five five. They're on their last legs. They won't be around for too much longer, so it's always exciting to see them. They're working the services to Reading. So back to what I was saying about steam locos and everything. The other big thing is where the Hogwarts Express is filmed for the Harry Potter films. In the first film, it's filmed on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, so the locomotive, Alton Hall, went up there, she was in steam, and they did a bit of filming um, at the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. And then the next lot of filming, and what became more, probably the more famous for um, the Harry Potter films, was up in the West Highlands of Scotland, the West Highland Line and Glen Finn and Viaduct. There's that very famous scene where Harry and Ron are flying in the Ford Anglia, and they come along and you know, fl they fly down over the viaducts and suddenly they realise the Hogwarts Express is right behind them. Now, steam trains run on that line every day in the summer and the train, to most normals, most normals go, oh, it's the Hogwarts Express. To me, it's not, it's the Jacobite. That's what the train is actually called. It's called a Jacobite and it's nearly always pulled by a class, um, standing a class five uh, or known as a black five locomotive. So that isn't really the Hogwarts Express either. It's a shame in a way, I really wish Alton Hall, she's now in the, in the Harry Potter Studios over at Watford. I wish they'd get her out and get her running again and have her running. I mean, at least this train, this train's the right colour, but it's not, certainly not a steam train. It's an electric train, but there is a steam train coming this way. So, like I say, to some normals, any steam train is the Hogwarts Express, and it seems any train that runs over Glenfin and Viaduct is the Hogwarts Express. To me, if you're going to go by that logic, then the Class 1-5 sprinters, because they run over Glenfin and Viaduct, so also the Hogwarts Express. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang around, and let's see Clan Line, that's not really the Hogwarts Express, but it's a steam train. Let's see Clan Line pass through here. So as Clan Line, cousin to the original Hogwarts Express steam loco, steams off that way into the night, back to London. That brings us to the end of this little exploration here at uh, Martin's Heron Station, which really I don't think is anything like Hogsmeade, but it's a railway station. And like I say, railways play quite a big part in the Harry Potter books and films. So hope you enjoyed this little exploration. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from Martin's Heron, just around the corner from where Harry Potter grew up. Goodbye.